Beautiful. Becoming a lot more effective at hunting. That's amazing. Paralyzed from the waist down. Woohoo! He's fighting with Kevin every day. This is my duck now. Good morning, my precious. Good morning, everybody. It's feeding time again for Gustavo. Where is he? Oh, he's hiding under his nice new gray. Oh, there he is. Good morning, my precious. Oh, he bit the camera, my precious little angel. Okay, guys, take a look at this. I like to rip these shrimp bits up into smaller pieces so this little guy can eat them. He's getting better at catching the food whenever I drop. He's not that good at it, though. Oh, he got my finger there, but he did get the meat. Look at this precious little man. I don't even care whenever he bites me because he's so precious. But I definitely should get a little tall. See if I can drop this on his mouth. There you go. Bleeding a little bit there. But I can't wait until this little man is big enough. I'm gonna need to clean this water out for him in a little bit too. But watch this, guys. If I drop this right on him. Yeah, see, he's really good at catching it now. But check this out. I'm gonna drop this right on his nose. Yeah, I love him. But right now, we're actually working on the outdoor enclosure for him. Or for a large gator. Because here in Texas, it is legal to farm alligators with a gator farming permit. I just got all this food for our Capybara Mukbang channel. A lot of weird things happening today on the farm. Somebody brought me this little bunny that I think that she stepped on. And she says he is now paralyzed from the waist down. I'm going to do a little quick exam. I do have my permits for these guys, obviously. Okay, so he's not using his back too late. Sometimes when they're this young, those little injuries are self-healing but he's so young that we need to get him some baby food okay first things first i made a nest for this little fella out of fresh bermuda grass and he just climbed right in there good morning big ounce oh what do you think of that cringe baby bunny that that woman stepped on Whoa. i love picking this man up and going woohoo Mr. Ounce's tins. But Mr. Ounce here is gonna be in charge of taking care of that bunny. I'm sure he's gonna do an amazing job. As you can see, he's already completely hidden in here, which is what we want. He feels safe. I'm gonna get him some squash baby food. Later that night, you I went to a tea tossing with you my buddies and this duck was harassing oh a young God. boy. And he loves your son. Do you think it just likes the light? What do you think it's doing? This one or are there other ones? So the audio was pretty bad, but while these people were fishing, another young boy came out of nowhere with this duck and dropped it in the water, and it did not feel comfortable in the water at all and just jumped out and sat with these people while they fished for an hour. Some little kid. Probably their pet that they dumped here. I think it's a rowan. I don't think it's a... <laughs> wow. I'm gonna bring this little fella home and it's just gonna live in our pond until we can find a better place for it. This is for sure someone's pet duck. Duck moment. Okay, if this is a wild duckerino, it would probably be trying to get off me right now. Holding it in the palm of my hand. Normally wild ducks would freak out by now. But I'm gonna see if this little fella will turn away. And no, it won't. Okay, so this means it is a domestic duck. So I'm gonna be taking this little fella home. Like I said in many other videos, this is a very popular place to abandon your ducks. This duck was probably raised as a duckling in an environment where it didn't swim very often. You see guys, it's not that hard to pick up a free duck at the park all you got to do is just grab it with one hand okay yeah this is my duck this is my duck now you guys look it's not even fighting at all mm. at this point i just always keep a carrier in my car good evening everybody my phone's gonna die but i got this duck here i'm gonna go ahead and let her out at the pond i know you guys are gonna say uncle ben didn't you just give away donald trump and obama and their baby so this is just gonna be temporarily look at my precious children and now for the first time in a oh look there's a toad there we have a rowan duck on the property. And this is a lovely place for her, if I do say so myself. Man, there's a lot of toads out tonight. Goodbye, Garbanzo Bengus. Oh, no, you guys, she's following me. Good night, Remington. Look at those folds. Whoa, is that Kevin? Oh, no, here she comes, you guys. Should I sleep with this creature? No, I'm going to come back out and do chores with her. A quick update on the baby Budbo. Back legs are, in fact, working again. A lot of people said, oh, just go ahead and euthanize him. Can't use his back legs, he's gonna die. But this little fella made an actual miraculous recovery, so I'm very, very happy for him. Obviously, I'm gonna keep him in restricted mobility for another week, but look at this, you guys. He's still able to hop and use his back leg. Look at that, he's, he's using his back legs, yes! Good morning, everybody. We are getting a ton of timber dropped off again today. Look at these precious pigeons. But I do think that the chickens and the turkeys are scaring away our pigeons. Come on in, children. Good morning, queen, look 
at Master Uguay trying to get through here. Stop it. Nothing like getting woken up at 6.50 by the lumber company. Look at this precious little girl. All right, suppose I'll go help that man let down the logs. Good morning, my precious son and daughter. Pobbers is so much sweeter than Queeb. All right, but good morning, everybody. I'm finally awake, and one of my favorite things about waking up here now is seeing all the pigeons flying around in the morning. Good morning, Garbanzo Beebs. And it's too early for the algae to be blooming. <laughs> look at my precious little crepuscular boy. But yeah, guys, look at this. Look how happy everyone is today. Right now, it's probably 78 degrees, 77 degrees. The baby's trying to fight me, and his GF's just over here contemplating life. You guys sent me some of these barley boys in the mail and they soaked in a little bit of the algae, but not enough to where it's all just gone. But it did work. The algae is a lot better than it was in the last video. That's for sure. I'll see. I'm probably going to need like five or six more of those barley boys. And look, there's my pigeons. But every morning, you guys, I'll wake up and I'll come out here and my pigeons will be miles up in the sky doing laps around the property. They'll also be visiting other farms, going to the other cornfields and eating all their corn and then coming back here to roost. So half the time, I I don't even gotta feed them. Also, I'm very glad we rescued this boy because I love her. This is the first of the last two shipments of logs we're getting for the eagle pen in the back. And this is some of the lumber that we're gonna use to finish off this little thing for the gators. And we rented this bad boy to dig all the holes back there. These cringe uh, uh, foxes are wild as ever now. Don't really come in here and talk to them or play with them at all, obviously. And they've been eating more live prey, which has been interesting because it's making them more wild to do that. And they're becoming a lot more effective at hunting too a lot more efficient. And I honestly think we could release these guys a lot sooner than I initially thought. Master Ugwe is doing his morning round. It turns out turtles can feel you petting their shells, so I always come up to them and I give them little pets like this. Hello, Patrick, are you okay? Patrick went and hid behind the barn when the big scary truck came. Little things like that or a lawnmower will make this man go berserk. So when we do have to come and mow this lawn real soon, this little guy's gonna have to go inside with me. And I'll probably just lay in bed with him until the dudes are Done. But his little scabs are healing up really well. And now he's got these precious little horns. Look at that. Big ounce has gotten a lot more done with the house. But he made me go pick up all this dang material. Regardless, the wonders of Big Ounce's craftsmanship truly know no bounds. But also, all of my picnic tables have been pooped on. Mukbang moment. Pogs and Queen, per usual, are sitting on their little trampoline. Every morning they sit on there and wrestle each other. Precious little fellas. And also, Queen loves to hunt. I'm poggers now for some reason. And every few days, like I said, I replace the cappy's wall. While I'm waiting for this to drain, I'm gonna refill all the food bucket. And I'm gonna go through and refill all the fresh water for the animals. Even though it's just fine for these Rhea to be drinking the algae, I still prefer for them to always have fresh water available. So I'm gonna dump that and refill. And I do the same thing with my beautiful son. Homeland, no, get back here. You scared him away, Kevin. Oh, the baby grabbed me from behind again. Wow. Very nice, very nice, beautiful. There are a few things that are worse than the baby running up from behind you and clawing you in the stomach. It's the kind of thing that'll never kill you, but it still hurts a ton, and he just slowly creeps up on you like this. Love that I just have a duck that follows me around everywhere now. We made a best friend last night. I don't think this thing even knows how to eat the food. But look how precious these two beans are especially this one. Also, look at her little pouch, you guys. There might be something in there. May I please look in your pouch, my little precious queen? No. But Petunia gets this whole field to herself now. Because she's one of the few animals that won't get hurt if she steps in one of these holes. But this whole thing is going to be 100 foot by 40 foot, boys. It's going to be one giant flight pen that has the ability to break up into several smaller ones. Making the most effective use of our land. And it's also going to be 16 feet high. So we're going to be able to keep this bad boy in there. And I might paint it and make it look a little cuter. But now that it's daytime, do you guys have any idea what breed this is? Is this a mallard or is it a rowan? From looking at her tail feathers, it also looks like she might be part Muscovy, but I don't know. One thing's for sure, this is definitely somebody's pet that I am now getting to take care of. And I don't mind that one bit because it's been a long time since old Uncle Ben got to have a pet duck. But the pond is doing really well. And look at those cichlids, you guys. Look how beautiful they are. Every few days, I throw a few handfuls of this feed in there for them. My catfish and bubble bass are all in here too. Now, now, if only we could do that to this pond over here. 
My buddy's coming hopefully soon to take this goat off my hands because he's fighting with Kevin every day now. And they're both very, very cringe. They have the same exact energy. This fella really out here looking for tadpoles. I really don't mind this boy because he's just a little cringe goat. A little bleeding a little bit there. Okay, that's the first time I've seen her eat, so that's good. I love her. She's so friendly. And check this out, you guys. All my pigeons are now back from flying around the property. These guys probably flew for miles this morning. Morning. World record wandermelon speed run. Man, these guys annihilated that wandermelon in the short amount of time it took me to do all these chores. But the Cappies are also doing really well, as you guys can see. And Kumala is still my favorite little baby boy who will actually even let me kiss him on the lips now. But his breath's pretty stinky. Wow, look at that though. This is the capybara mouth, you guys. No other YouTube channel lets you get an up close look at a capybara tongue. That's amazing. But okay, guys, that's it for now. In the next video, I'm gonna trap some rats and maybe give some quail to those foxes over there so that they can live hunt. And before I post this video, I wanna give you guys one last look at this little creature. Our little cottontail rabbit is doing much better and it's actually able to use its back legs now. I'm gonna keep giving her fresh grass, water, and a little squash baby food. This is the fourth fourth day that I've had her and she's made tremendous recovery so far but that's it for now though you guys I love you I appreciate you thank you so much for watching this video big ounce loves you and appreciates you and we'll see you guys in the next video this man just wanted to go back to sleep oh almost forgot to tell you oh!